Welcome to the homework for Lesson 3. This is Module 5 of Grade 2, and please write your name here first. And we're solving problems using the arrow way. Now you can do these mentally, but the idea is to use the arrow way here and practice using the arrow way. It's just writing down how you do your mental math. Sometimes it doesn't look much different. So 260, and we can add all 200 at once, plus 200, 460, 260 plus 240, okay, start with the 260, then we're going to add the 200 first, because when you're doing mental math, usually you're going to add the hundreds first, and then the tens, and you'll add the ones last. 460, we've already done that one, and then we're going to add the 40, 60 and 40 is another 100, 500, 260, now we're adding 250, right? So keep in mind, this is just 10 more than what we already did, right? So we're going to add the 200 for 460. Then we add the 40, that's 500, and then the 10 more for 510. And that's normally the way you think of it when you do it in your head, is you're going to think of getting to the next you know, 100, where you're adding 1s, you're going to stop when you get to the next 10, but here we're just we're doing 10s and 100s, because we're working with really big numbers, so we're just going to think that 100 and then 10 more and that's the 50. So let's do some more of these. 320 plus we can do all 400 at once because we can just look at the hundreds digit and see 3 plus 4 700 20 320 and we're going to add the 400 first 720 and then we're adding the 80 and you'll notice here that 80 and 20 makes another 100 so that's 800 and 320 add the 400 just as we did before 720 then we're going to add right, we're adding 90 this time so we're going to add the 80 first 800 and then we can add the 10 to the 800 810 it's just adding tens and hundreds 550 plus 200 750 550 plus the 200 first 750 and then another 50 more because it's 250 and you'll see that the 250s add up to 100 so I guess it's the rest of the way to 800 and our 800 800 800 okay 550 plus 200 750 plus the 50 Right, we're thinking of this 70, right, we're thinking of this 270 as 200 and 50 and then 20 more. So you have to look at this 70 and think of it as the 50 we already did and then the 20 more that you need to make this to finish the rest of the 70. That's 800 and it's really easy to add to 800. 20 more. 800. 20. That's one of the benefits of working around uh, hundreds, like 700, 800, 900, is that they're really easy to add to. It really, it's really easy to add hundreds to them. It's really easy to add tens to them. So that's why you want to get to them, and because it's really easy to add more or when you're subtracting to work down from them. 230 plus 400. 630, 
two. Now we're going to add 470 to 30 plus 400, 630. And now we're going to add 70 more because it's 470 we're adding this time. Then 30 and 70, that's another 100 right there. So we get 700. 230. Add the 400, we have 630, just like before. Then we're going to add 70, because that gets us to 700. It gets us to 100, 700. And then we need 20 more, right? Because that's only out of this 90 here. We just added 70 of it. We still need to add the rest of it, which is 20 more. It's really easy to add to 700. 720. And we can do this mentally or write it down air away. 320 plus 200. I think we can do this one mentally because we're just looking at those hundreds digits. 500 and then add the 20. 20. And now here we've got we might want to do this one air away, 280 plus 300, 580 plus the 20, 600. You know, and you can write them out like that if you want. Now you might recognize right off that, oh, the 80 and the 20 is going to make another 100. And you might just see that it's going to be... 200, 300, and another 100. 2 and 300 makes 500, and then the 80 and the 20 makes another 100 for 600. You might see it that way mentally, and that's fine. Now this one would be work more like this. 290. Add the 300 first. 590. And now we need to add 20. And really... 10 first gets us to 600, and then 600 plus 10 more. Now we've added the 20, 610. Hundred thirty plus 500. We just have to add the hundreds here. 100 plus 500 is 600, and then the 30 is 630. Then here you might see the 10s, 30 and 60, that's 90. And you see the hundreds, 100 to 500, it's 600. So we're going to have 600, and then the tens add up to 90, so it's 690. And now here we have something that's a little more complicated to, to do this mentally. Start with the large number first. Because since you can change the order of the add ends, why not start with the 580? You can add the 100 first, 680. And now we still have to add this 30. Now I'm going to, since we have an 80 here, I'm going to do, I'm thinking 20. Because it gets us to 700, and then I need 10 more. 700, 10. <clears throat> Three, excuse me, 360 plus 240. Well, you might see that that 60 and that 40 is 100. And then we have, that's 100, and now we have 200 more, that makes 300, and then 300 more, that we have 600. You might do it mentally that way. 350 plus 270, so you can do 350. Mentally, you're thinking, add the 200 first. 550. Then add... Of this 70 that we're adding, we want to add 50 first because we want to make the next 100. 600, and then we need to add 20 more. 620. And now looking at this 380 and 230, if this was 220, that would be easy because I have 80 and 20 for another 100. But I'm, you can see that I'm going to have really just 10 more left over. So I'm going to add these two first, 
mentally and then add 10 more. So that's 80 and 20. There's 100. And then we have 200 here. So now I'm up to 300. And now three more hundreds, 600. And then that 10, 610. And maybe you have a little bit different mental process. Um, just find some way to write that part down. Usually these first ones, these are just starting to get harder now. So you might have to write them all down or puzzle them all out using the back of the other side of the page, of the page one. Uh, let's see, we've got 260 and 250. Well, think of this 260. If this was 250, I'd have 250 and 250, I'd have 500. So that 250 would be easy, but it's 10 extra here. So these two, 250 and 250, that's 500, and then 10 more is 510. And that's how I think of it, how I do it in my head. Maybe you do it a little bit differently. Now we've got 270 and 280. All right, so I'm just going to add, start with the 270, add the 200 first, and now that's 470. Now I'm looking at this 80 that I have to add and I'm seeing the 70 and what I really need is 30 more to get to get it to 500. And then the rest of that 80 is going to be 50 more. Five hundred fifty, and now we have two hundred eighty and two hundred fifty. Well, I could use the strategy I used on the first part of D over here, and think, well, this is like two hundred fifty and thirty more. So I still have the two two hundred fifties for five hundred. And then I need the 30 more. And that works really well if you know that, you know, 25 plus 25 is 50, or the 250 plus 250 is 500. Or you can just look at the, you know, you're looking for 50 and 50 to make 50 and 50 to make 100. Uh, 440 plus 280. Okay, so this 40 really needs a 60 to make the next 100. So I'm going to think of this as 260. And then I have 20 extra left. So when I add these two numbers together, I'm going to have 400. This is, I'm just writing it all down. 400 plus 200, 600, and then the 40 and 60 is another 100. I'm kind of making a shortcut here. That makes it 700. And then I need to add the 20. Seven hundred twenty, and then I'm looking at this six hundred sixty. I'm like, if that, if this was a forty, this was a hundred forty, then I would be making another hundred with the sixty and the forty. But then I need, I still need twenty more. So this six hundred sixty and hundred forty, the six hundred sixty, and the hundred. That's seven hundred sixty. The forty gets us to eight hundred. And then add the 20, 820. And that's how I do it in my head. And then here we have 150. We want to make we want to make this think of this as another 50, right? So we want 750. And then it would be 20 more. So we have the 250s make a hundred. And then this is another hundred, that's two hundred, 
and then so now we have a total of 200 and now that 700 that makes 900 and then we got to add in the 20 that's 920 and now we're solving these in unit form 34 tens plus 20 tens and we're just adding just think of it it's already the units are already written down for us we just have to add these numbers so 30 just think of it as 34 plus 20 54 tens 34 tens plus 26 tens well you see the 4 and the 6 that makes a 10 30 and 20 is 50 and another 10 is 60 so it's 60 tens right since it's tens tens and tens uh, here we have 34 and 27 now 7 and 4 is 11 so you're going to have 11 from adding the ones and then 30 and 20 is 50 so you're looking at really looking at 50 plus 11 which is 61 tens and then this 34 and that 28 you could think of this 34 as wouldn't it be easier if it was 32 and then the other part would be two more so then you've got 30 and 20 for 50 there's another 10 here with an 8 and 2 that makes 60 and then two more is 62 62 tens what's the value of 62 tens 62 tens is 620